and minor auto service, come to Redford Auto Repair. We do it all. Engines, transmission, and electrical. Our specials, front or rear brake pads, $50 out the door. Free engine diagnostic test. Oil change starting at $16.99. 100% customer satisfaction guaranteed. Four locations to serve you. Two on West 8 Mile Road, west of Evergreen. Telegraph Road, north of Chicago and Redford Township. Six Mile and Schaefer. Come in today. Welcome to Detroit Class 313. We are so excited you've joined us on this evening. We have with us the one and only lawyer, Crystal Crittenden, who's running for mayoral race this year, um, during this season. We, she's born in Detroit. She's grad, a graduate from Cass Tech and also a Wayne State um, University alumni. That's correct. We are, we are excited just your passion. We know that you've, it's been over two decades. You've uh, been practicing law. Uh, you have a blemishless record. We know you stand on integrity. And we're just excited that you are a part of just being the change or the difference that makes a difference in Detroit. We just want to hear, you know, what it is from your heart, what it is that you are going to bring differently that we have, haven't seen in regards to uh, past times as far as our mayoral race. Well, thank you so much for having me, um, and thank you for that great introduction. I am going to bring, and I don't want to say I'm going to bring integrity, but I'm going to restore integrity to the mayor's office. There are a lot of people in the city of Detroit who will do the right thing just because it's the right thing to do. However, we in the media and the mainstream media concentrate so often on those of us who do not. And I want to make sure that I set an example for the people coming behind me, that there are people who will go into politics, who will have integrity, who will stand up for what is right, and who will, will do what's right, no matter how difficult it gets. Wow, absolutely. And with the um, Detroit area being over 61% women, mothers, single mothers, who are, um, you know, at looking for new avenues, new ways in, in which to be able to make provision and have um, um, avenues that would assist them in being able to be have a more productive life for themselves and their children. What are the, some of the things that you're going to, or your team, yourself and your team, that you're going to surround yourself with? Right, and thank you so much for acknowledging my team, because I can't do anything by myself. Just like none of us can do this by ourselves, we're going to all have to come together, government, civic, community, religious, we're going to all have to work together. Uh, there are a number of, of issues that face people in the city. Uh, the city of Detroit has a large population of single family, uh, single headed heads of household who are women who have children. Absolutely. And uh, they're mostly concerned about their children, as we all are. Our children need to make sure that they know that they have a government that cares about them, a government that is going to try to make the future better for them. Today, uh, at about 5 o'clock, I was down at the police headquarters, and there were a group of children from Denby High School. And they were down there protesting. These are 16, 17, 18-year-olds. They were protesting the fact that the city is considering getting rid of the gang squad. And it broke my heart to hear these children say, why are they messing with gang squad? These are the people who make us feel safe when we go to school. Absolutely. Can't they cut somewhere else? Absolutely. You know, I'm going to make sure that we do things that make our youth and our children know that we do care about them. We need to do things to make it necessary so that we yes. don't need gang squad. Yes. But until we get this, that, this crime situation under control, we need to make sure that our children feel safe when they attend school. Oh, absolutely. I would concur. Now, we do know that, you know, during the mayoral rates, you're going to need some support, financial support. You're going to need some people who would do campaigning, who would do the footwork. We know that you have already been noted for doing that, absolutely. And that is how would they be able to contact you and say, you know, I, hey, you're, you're speaking my language. You're saying exactly what it is. You're a voice for me. How can I support? What we can have I a, do? We have a website up now. It's Crittenden, crystalcrittenden.com. If okay. you sign on there, okay. it will have links to let you know how you can donate your time, 
your money, your talent to this campaign. We're, this is not my campaign. This is all of our campaign, and we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we can put you to work if you want to volunteer. We have people who are gonna go door to door, people who are gonna make phone calls with us. This past year has revealed to me just how many people there are in this city who are willing to roll up their sleeves and do the hard work. They just want to make sure they're working with a leader who has their best interest at heart. And I think I can be that leader. I'm going to spend the next several months trying to convince the people to do so. But I am so hopeful because of all the people during the past year who have come to me, who have said, you know, I was ready to leave, but now I think I'm going to stick it out. What can I do to help you? I, I, I would absolutely indicate or state that we have, and Detroiters, we are diehard. We stand on what it is that we know we want to, it's coming back. We, we're, we're seeing all the, the, there's all different types of elements have been shown that to, just to display that we are coming back. And the thing is, is that quite primarily, there's a lot of people who they want to see the difference but they want to know, is the person who's leading us, are they really going to be true? Are they going to be integrity, have integrity? And you have already displayed that. You have made some hard decisions. But we certainly, we are, we're honored to even know and, you know, be a part of what it is you're doing here. But then also, uh, again, is that we know that the people that are, want to see a difference here, in Detroit that want to see a difference, um, that they have the ability to be able to make a choice to choose you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are, we are, we're just, you know, just some little background that you, you still live in Northwest Detroit. I do. So you are a true Detroit. I do. We're excited about that um, because you can't um, understand unless you are in it, you know, or, or you're, or it affects you. And so it has you, um, Wayne State University alumni, as I already stated, and then also um, in your. Well, I do see in your um, your pastime and your for your pastime, you like to. Uh, you have some unfinished novels that you're trying to uh, finish up, and then also you're reading The Racketeer. Finish that, yeah, I did yeah. finish that. Oh, all right, I did. Okay, uh, you know we are going to. First, let me just say, just because you live in Detroit doesn't make you a Detroiter. And may, although you might live outside the boundaries of Detroit, it doesn't yeah. mean that you're not a Detroiter. So I want anyone who loves this city, who considers himself to be a Detroiter, to Very know good. that I'm working for you, too. I want to make sure that people who have left the city, who may be living other, elsewhere because of a choice or because right. of a job, know that we're trying to make a Detroit that's better for them so that they can come back and claim Detroit as their homesteads. A lot of people, you know, they remember when their grandparents or their great-grandparents tell them stories about growing up in the city of Detroit and just how wonderful it was, yes. we're going to restore that Detroit for them. Absolutely. And economically, what are some of the things that you are going to begin to tackle? Again, you and your team are going to tackle to make sure that, ensure that those who have had to leave because of opportunities outside of Detroit and that they want to even return back to Detroit, what are some of the things that they can look forward to, some of the benefits of having you as our mayor? Well, I, I, you, we said talked about economics. The city of Detroit really does not have an economic uh, financial problem. They have a collection problem. So we're going to start collecting some of that money that's owed to the city of Detroit We all know it takes finance in order to do some of the things that we need to do. So we're going to bring that money back so that we can help restore some of these neighborhoods and these parks and make it a fun and beautiful and clean, livable city. Oh, absolutely. Now, you did say um, it's the collecting uh, as far as the finances. You've identified some one of the greatest problems, and that is that has been one of the greatest problems. And with that being said. Um, we want to make sure that we do um, support her, assist her in any manner in regards to allowing you to be able to um, have the best run ever. You will set a standard for women for uh, the city of Detroit that has not been seen before. And I wish you all the very best. We had three cl- Detroit Class 313 desire to have to to see you in the best position possible. Well, thank you so much. And if we all work together, we can all achieve the goal that we want for this great city. Absolutely. All right. Thank you.
service, come to Redford Auto Repair. We do it all. Engines, transmission, and electrical. Our specials, front or rear brake pads, $50 out the door. Free engine diagnostic test. Oil change starting at $16.99. 100% customer satisfaction guaranteed. Four locations to serve you. Two on West 8 Mile Road, west of Evergreen. Telegraph Road, north of Chicago and Redford Township. Six Mile and Schaefer. Come in today.